What do you miss most about not coaching any longer at the Boston Bakers? Because you are certainly a legend and put them on the map. I think association with the players, teaching them practice every day and doing those things I enjoyed the most. Looking forward to going to work every day because I never had a job. I didn't look forward to going to work every day. So I miss the players and being around them and my assistant coach. Yeah, I think we're in uh, Brad Miller country. I thought maybe I'd ask you to tell us a good story about Brad Miller. I can. <laughs> 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 it's not credible. A story about Brad Miller. Okay, uh, Brad is one of those unusual players that when you taught him like a play or a trap, he knew exactly what to do next. He was a very, very good student of the game, uh, listened, and I always loved working with him. He and John DeCamp were the two most famous people from Kindergarten, right? <laughs> And they were both very good friends of mine and one of the students. So uh, Brad was a very easy student because he learned quickly. He could do put a play in, he had it. Go a high-low post, he had it. Go a trap on defense, he had it. Do a special play for the last second shot, he had it. So he was he was uh, easy to coach. Uh, what was your reaction to be named to the College Basketball Hall of Fame earlier this month, and what does that award mean to you? Well, it meant a lot of people helped me. Um, all the people around me were very instrumental in that. My family, uh, the assistant coaches uh, have uh, like eight guys now, our Division One coaches. They were all very special in all of this. And without them, of course, I wouldn't have done it. And the players, and then the people that helped me at Purdue, the secretaries and the weight coaches and the trainers. So it had a lot to do with the people around me. I always cherished uh, my relationship with my staff. What about all the underclassmen who come out for this? Right? I don't like it. I, I wish they'd change it like football and baseball have it where you have to stay to your junior year. I think it, it just hurts the game. It hurts the kids from getting better. Uh, they don't learn how to manage their money when they're young and they have a lot of things to do uh, to get better. So I just don't like it. I wish that uh, we could smarten up and, and get uh, the commissioner to somehow get that push through where they had to stay to their juniors. Advice you give the young athletes today, like in junior high, high school? Sure, uh, read a lot. Uh, understand that your education is the most important aspect of your life. Without a degree, you're not going anywhere because not very many guys become professional athletes. So get your degree and love to read. Thank you. you gave my whole speech away. Now I don't want to talk. See you. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Coach. My pleasure. Thank you. Thank you.